Welcome to the Ewe Den. This is lesson number three, and today we're going to deal with the F major scale and add it to our list of scales. And we have three of the 12 scales uh, under our belt. Uh, our first goal is to learn all 12 major scales, and I highly recommend the first thing you do when you sit down to practice is do say and play all your scales that you know to date. So right now, it would be the C major scale in the natural category, the G major scale in the sharps, and the F major scale as of today in the flats. Well, the F scale, it starts on an F and it goes to an F alphabetical order. When you get to B, it's a B flat. And the fingering that we're going to use is known as biz B flat. And it's the first circle with your index key. And at the same time, you push down the little hook key underneath it, both at the same time. And that is a B flat. So if we're going to say this scale, it's going to be F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, always say it down, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F. And let's just play it one time. Here we go. Remember, to this point, speed doesn't matter. Just make sure it's the correct fingering and you're thinking the correct letter name and you're going to be in good shape. So our mission before we improvise is going to be, number one, once the track starts, to say the F scale up and down. Number two, to play the F scale up and down, thinking the notes in our mind. And number three, this time we'll use the bend up plate and we'll bend up every note. Now, one thing to keep in mind is like all the bend ups aren't going to sound great. Like there's a couple of them, exactly two of them, that aren't going to sound so good. And they're between, you know, the seventh, the seventh bending up and the third bending up actually bend to a note that's out of the scale. Don't worry about that now. That's theoretically down the road for us a little bit. But you should kind of notice that there's probably some that sound better than others. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start the track and we're going to say it. And then we're going to play it, then we'll play it with bends. And then when we improvise, let's just improvise a nice long line and then we'll end it with a short note. Like we'll play a line like this. <laughs> consciously with a short note because remember we practiced one where we ended with long notes well not every phrase is going to end with a long note so we should sort of get a little bit of clarity into how we are ending phrases so this time we'll end with a short note then after the short note check in and listen to a member of the rhythm section like the bass player or the piano player or the drummer and kind of get in a habit to listening to the environment okay so here we go i'm starting the f major uh, play along. It's right below this video if you want to do it a bunch of times. And here we go. Saying it. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, back down, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, Now I'm going to play it again. I'm going to bend up on every note. Trying to make the speed of the bend the same to make it sound better. I'm 
going to improvise, ending my phrase on a short note, and then checking into the rhythm section. That's a great exercise. Uh, the tracks are about three minutes long. I would improvise to the end of it. And it would be a really good idea to go back and do the exact same routine over the C and the G scales that we did before. Okay, uh, I hope these lessons are helpful to you. It would be very helpful to me for you to leave uh, suggestions of what you would like to be seeing as, as material in the comment sections or any improvements that you think we can make. I'm um, just learning how to do this too, so that would be very helpful to me. And uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, check out the next one.